Hi everybody, my name is Anthony Diaz. I'm the co-founder and executive director of the Newark Water Coalition. Today we were informed that a complaint was received by one of our partners that gives us or provides us with produce, food, pampers, and sometimes other goods uh, about a concern about one of our Instagram posts. The Instagram post uh, is the George Floyd post that has over 500 and some odd likes on it. Uh, in the caption, uh, I utter the phrase, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Um, and that was the post that they uh, had an issue with. And that they said that it could be construed as hate speech. Um, so one of the uh, solutions was for the Newark Water Coalition to edit that caption uh, and to remove that language from our post. Uh, and this is a tough thing because, you know, we provide food uh, and water on Tuesdays and Fridays and Saturdays. And this partner was supporting the Tuesday and Friday distributions from our office location. You know, one of the things, and this hasn't, this isn't the first time that this happened to the North Water Coalition. We were kicked out of our uh, first ever distribution location because we haven't abolished the police stance. And so what we've seen is that, you know, when I say all struggles are interconnected, that this is what it means. And again, when I preach self-sustainability and sovereignty, especially when it comes to things like food and land and water, this is what I mean. We can't allow ourselves to be in a position where we allow others to dictate what resources we can and cannot give to our community. We cannot put ourselves in a position where when someone decides that they don't want or like something that the Newark Water Coalition says or additional partners say, that they can pull their resources, whether it be monetary, whether it be in items, and whether it be in produce. And so we made the hard decision, um, you know, consulting with the folks that are here on what to do. And it was very clear uh, we don't want ever our speech to be uh, curtailed and we don't ever want our freedoms to be denied. So if it wasn't this post, it would have been something else in the future. If it wasn't me making this decision, someone else would have had to make it for us. And so right now what we're saying is that we need community support. We need more people to fund our food distributions for Tuesdays and Fridays so that there isn't a lag in our community. And it, it's unfortunate that this comes at a time where we're seeing more people that come to our community uh, be more aggressive because of the scarcity of resources. So, you know, in a sense, we must lean on the people once again. I always say that people power is the solution to all of our problems. And so, you know, help us out. Thank you. Reach out to us wherever you can. Send support to us. Volunteer where you can. Um, and I still will say, you know, I, I believe that the occupation of Palestine will end in our lifetimes. And once we can decolonize Palestine, we can move on to Puerto Rico, Congo, Sudan, and the rest of the world. This doesn't make me disheartened in any stretch of the imagination. If anything, it emboldens us to keep taking this moral stance and keep fighting and being who we, the Newark Water Coalition, say we're going to be. Thank you.